hey welcome back to the channel so today we're gonna go ahead and deal with i guess we could deal with let's go get Odeon. let's get Odeon up out of here um yeah um i'm continuing the series uh i'm on the next part of it and everything and uh yeah we got a lot more stuff to get through and everything with this game and again playlists if you're coming in new if you're new here uh, i'll put a playlist in the description and in the comments to link you to the full playlist so you can see it from the beginning the trials and tribulations of dealing with Odeon. Let's go get Odeon, though. Let's get him out of here. Man, Odeon powerful out here. Look, look. This man, like, yeah. I'm Odeon. All right, anyway, let's deal with Odeon. Like, actually, Odeon never seemed Egyptian to me. He always seemed African to me, so I don't know if that was on purpose or what. But anyway, let's... Oh, what's... What, we in the desert? Man, we need some water up in here. We tired and we need some water. Got us up in the desert. So you are the one known as Yugi. Yugi. Odeon, I feel overwhelming strength from him. Whoever stands in my way, it is my duty to bury them. <laughs> we'll see about that. I'm gonna bury them. <laughs> I sense that you are also a powerful duelist. However, millenniums of strategies have been passed down along my bloodline. He got millenniums of strategies been passed down. Strategies that you have never seen or can comprehend. <laughs> wow. Okay. It's time to do, Yugi. All right, we're gonna beat Odin. Here I come. Man, he's just big. That's why he look powerful. Just huge. All right, let's choose our turn order. Yeah, I'm probably going to cut this stuff out of the video because I, I think it's annoying for people to see me choose everything. So, we might cut that out. I'll see. Uh, let me know if you would like me to cut them out in future videos or not. I'm um, asking you in the comments now. If you think I should just get rid of me picking my characters or whatever, I can. So, just let me know. I, I like to leave it in so you know my thought process while I'm doing it. That's why it's been in there. But yeah, Odeon got us starving up in the desert, man. Let's go deal with him. All right, we got the petite moth, our specialty. All right, forget that petite moth. All right, let's see here. We got Karibo is all right and good. We got a good amount of points. So I guess they're trying to want us to use these high-level monsters. Like, we lost Baby Dragon last time. That was unfortunate. The moon been doing great, to be honest. So, uh, Dark is what we should be using against him. So we got Summon Skull back. Let's get him back in there. We probably gonna try Dark Magician Girl another time, and we are gonna see if it works this time. Man. Get that, yeah, get that Curse of Dragon rolled into. He was good. Okay, so we should be able to get him with these guys. Like, like our Dark Monster's looking pretty good today. I might take out Dark Magician Girl though for this. One. She gonna sit this one out. Like that Curse of Dragon is raw though. He gonna get, he gonna get used, but she's not that good. Like, she's taking up a whole lot of points, but we'll see about her later. All right, so we got her uh, and him. I mean, we got them two, you know. Now, Lamoon's a good card, man. I might throw Lamoon on the team again. Let's get this Ryu Kishin going, because he's pretty decent, too. Like, we are a dark team. We're a dark team. Okay, so you ain't going to be so helpful. Is that Larvamoth? Where that Larvamoth at? He did good last time. He a tank. Let's get that larva moth back out of here. Okay, Karibo, go ahead. Come on back, Karibo. Let's see. We got three more slots. We can put our leg of Exodia in or something. Right? That leg got some good stats, man. Okay, so we said we're using Ryukishi Empowered, right? Okay. Okay, get Pharaoh back in for this one. Man, I'm thinking about throwing a moon on the team. Like, if I were to put Dark Magician Girl on the team, though, like, how much? This is a lot. So, yeah, we couldn't put nobody else if we did that. So, never mind. Let's see. Uh, who else is dark that's decent? Actually, let's get this because they might have some. Odeon might have uh, light to. Actually, no, light ain't going to matter. Yeah, Thunder Monster might be useful actually. So let's get let's get some Thunder Monsters in here just in case. Let's throw him back in. And actually, how's that? Where is he? 
Oh, he went 50, man. That's a lot. The gear moving fortress is too much. It's Shovel Crusher, but Shovel Crusher kind of suck. We might throw Lamoon back in there and just train up Lamoon still. Because Time Wizard, he gone right now. Like, we might just train up that Lamoon. Yeah, get the Leg of Exodia. I'm tired of putting the Leg of Exodia in there. Let's, Let's get Lamoon back, because Lamoon's pretty good. All right, that's our squad. That should be good. Like, we got that Curse of Dragon and that Summit Skull. We should be able to do this. Like, I like that uh, Curse of Dragon. That Curse of Dragon was good. Summon Skull really is falling off, but, you know, he'll he'll do something at some point, I guess. Keep him in the front, because his, his movement spaces ain't the greatest. We'll put him right here. That Summon Skull in the front. I'm backed up with that Curse of Dragon. Man, Curse of Dragon just good, man. Like, I'm telling you, Curse of Dragon is just great. Uh, we'll throw the moon in the front, too. Yeah, get right here. All right, we got the Feral Imp. The Feral's Imp is going to be out here, too. See, I put him right here. All right, we got that Karibo. Okay, let's get that Ryukishin power. Yeah, put him right there. That I saw he was good for Merrick, so hopefully he's good for us. Okay, here's... Yeah, throw him right here. Okay, let's get Karibo out here, too. Right, where Karibo going to go? Can't, ain't got no good spaces for Karibo, really. Okay, well, we'll put Karibo right, right here, I guess. And our Larva Moth. Throw the Larva Moth right there. I like Larva Moth, man. Larva Moth is a, is a pure tank. Like, he ain't that great, but he ain't that bad either. And we're getting Ryukishin power leveled up in this, right? Yeah. So he's getting leveled up in this. That's good. That way he can get onto the board, it's too. Time to start. Ryukishin powered pretty, he pretty powered, man, I don't know, Ryukishin powered. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, start awakening these capsules. Okay, first things first, this curse of dragon got to get up out of the way, so we got to get it away. Karibo can't move nowhere until that point. Yeah, give him awaken too. Okay, okay, we can't awaken the moon no more, that's unfortunate. That Larva Moth going on. Larva Moth can't really move no more. We can get this guy going, but let's get the Karibo going. Okay. And now we can. Oh, we can get Larva Moth going too. Okay. Just enough for Larva Moth. Okay. Even though Larva Moth can't really do anything, because like, he, he can't. He boxed in. <laughs> so we should have put the moon in there and then moved I'm up. I'm for the glory of my bloodline. But you was adopted, Odeon. You're not part of the bloodline. Wait a minute. Remember, Odeon was adopted, so I don't think he counts. Okay, there's... Oh, what Odeon playing? Two monsters? All right, anyway. Two monsters done came out, and we're going to get those two monsters. It's my turn. Go get your two monsters out of here, Odeon. All right, what's this? All right, that's the Lamoon. Yeah, let's awaken the Lamoon. Here go this guy. Get that guy ready. Like we're going to get all the pieces awakened so we don't have to deal with it. Man. Come on. We can move them as we see fit later on, but let's get them going. There we go. Okay, so I'm probably going to move this Curse of Dragon. Get him up out of the way. Right there. And move that Karibo into that spot right there. All right. That seems good. Hopefully it's good. We'll, we shall see. Wish I had more AP still though. Like I should I should have picked AP at the beginning to be honest. I would have been just I just would have been taking these people out to be honest. What's that Tiki? They got that Tiki. I remember that monster. It's an Earth monster. I just don't remember his name. All right, let me see. Uh, take a moon. Start start moving up there. Sure. Karibo. Oh, Karibo needs him to move first. Wait a minute, Karibo. Hold tight. What is your ability, Karibo? Okay, let's move this Curse of Dragon. Let's get him right, right about here, I guess. Let's, no, he's going to lose some points right there. So, Curse of Dragon, not too great out here, I see. Let's get him right there. Okay, Karibo. Kinda sucks right now. 
Let's leave Karibo alone, actually. Stay right there. Stay. Stay, you. All right, let's move you up. Right there. Get Ryu Kishin powered up there, because he needs to be powered up there. Right, get him going. The larva moth. Okay, that larva moth look useless right there. Uh, maybe I'm going to move this guy, actually. Yeah, I'm going to move this guy. That way he, he get into the fray. All right, cool. I'll move larva moth and the rest of them guys later. So, who gonna get attacked? Hopefully only one of my monsters gets attacked and not too many of them get attacked. So right now, Odeon might be preparing for defense right now. Like his monsters don't seem to have that greatest of movement right here. We might be able to get this guy. But they are gathered around his thing like a fort, so he might just be a tank. We gonna do something about him. But anyway, okay, you won't be doing that. Ryu Kishin Power. Okay, let me get. Oh, wait. Actually, if Ryu Kishin Power get right here. No, nah, I can't. Okay, I like Ryu Kishin Power, though. It's moving pretty good. It just can't do nothing. Nah, man, you can't do nothing to you. Alright, so Summon Skull is going to be up to you to hit that guy. So let me move you within range, too. Uh, yeah, i get you right here. Just get right here. Mm, I'm probably going to have Summon Skull start that attack off. I want him to get more experience. So we're going to move Summon Skull slightly up. Get that guy. Alright, go Summon Skull. Cool. That's Summon Skull out there. He a veteran. Alright, go ahead. Curse of Dragon. Let's go. Let's take him out. Just like so. Good, that's destroyed. Ryukishin power is gone. Good, he gone. That was your first, but it will definitely not be your last. Man, Yugi. Nice attack, Yugi. But the duel has just begun. But the duel. Alright. So nice attack, but the duel. I need to get this feral imp up on the battlefield. Okay, let's move the moon. Wow, the moon powerful over there. Let's move the moon right up there. Move the moon right there so she'll be able to get up there soon. He has Ryu Kishin power, but he ain't too powered right now. So let's get him. Let's get him right behind the moon, actually. Right there. Now you you probably gonna get beat out of here, so we don't even gonna move you right now. You sit it out for me. Okay, you can't move. <laughs> let's get that Karibo out here. That's a good Karibo right there. Alright, and Larva Moth. You so far behind, but can't be left behind. Let's go. All right, so Curse of Dragon probably going to get hit. Hopefully, Curse, Curse of Dragon only take one hit. Like, hopefully, it's not too much damage it's taking. All right, let's see how much this going to do. Okay, Curse of Dragon tanking is pretty good. Yeah, that ain't bad. We can definitely live with that. That ain't bad at all. Like, that's not bad. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Alright, let's go. Right, can you? Oh, you can't do it. You can never do it. <laughs> Actually, wait. Maybe if you get over here. No, nah, you can't never do nothing. Okay, so. I gotta get in his fort, so. Um, I, Odeon put a fort around him, and I gotta get around that fort. To start dealing him some damage. So, all his monsters about to get got right now. Okay, so we got Ryu Kishin power. He can get, he can do some damage right here. Look at that. Let's see here. Okay, so I'm gonna move my Curse of Dragon. I'm moving like right here. I'm going to try to lead that to Ryu Kishin power. So move Curse of Dragon right over here. Get right there. And move, uh... Actually, can you hit him, Karibo? Karibo can't do that to this guy. Alright, so I'm going to move the, the Summon Skull right here. And he's going to Summon Skull him up. Okay, Summon Skull this man. Come on, Summon Skull. Summon Skull! Lightning Strike Attack. Okay, let's see if the Ryu Kishin power can take him out. Impressive. Oh, it was impressive, but let's see if we can be more impressive. Come on. 
Ryu Kishin Pai. Can we get it? Yes, we can. All right, cool. Cool. Got a Ryu Kishin Power. Got some, some points on the board. That's good. All right, here's the moon. Let's, let's throw the moon out here. Let's skip it. All right, here's Karibo. Uh, this guy can never move out here. Now, let's send that Karibo in there, because that Karibo seems like it'll be helpful at some point. Oh, you can't. Everybody blocking you. This thing has good movement, too, but it just won't get a chance. Move right there. And let's go move Larva Moth. Larva Moth never going to make it, man. But, hey, Larva Moth is trying to get in there. If we lose Curse of Dragon, we lose Curse of Dragon. But Curse of Dragon has, has been great. Okay, who we attacking? The moon? Alright. Okay, hopefully we don't kill the moon. The moon? I might have sacrificed the moon. Okay. She'll survive then. Okay, so now Ryukishin Power getting attacked, man. From the stone, man. Ah, oh, man. We doing good out here. Okay, that's... I don't know what that is. But, anyway... All right, let's go ahead and start dealing with these guys. Cause they starting to attack and they starting to make me mad out here. Okay, so Summon Skull probably ain't gonna be moving. Okay, what can you do, Karibo? Nothing, I guess. Karibo can do nothing. Right? So it's gonna be up to these guys for right now. Let's see, I could get this guy. He can do a two range to get that guy. Let's see, how does Lamoon move? Okay, the moon can only do that. Okay. Okay, so if the moon can only do that. Okay, we can still take them out with them, but now I'm getting dangerously close. Oh well. We're just gonna have to get dangerously close, man. So what we gonna do is because the moon has to attack this thing. So we're gonna have the moon attack this thing. Get it going. Cool. Okay, that didn't do too much damage on me. Let's see if you can beat it. If not, I'm gonna need that Cursed Dragon to step on up. No, he can't, okay. So Cursed Dragon's gonna have to, to step on up. So what we are gonna do is we are gonna move Cursed Dragon right over there in you know, the enemy's fray. Wait a minute. Can I move Karibo anywhere to help? Where can Karibo go? Karibo can't do nothing. Okay. So yeah, we're going to move Curse of Dragon over there to get him started. Yeah, get this Rock'em Sock'em robot out of here. The guy just has so much health. Rock'em Sock'em robot, they call him. Get him out of here. Destroy. Cool. So his robot going down. So, hey, we're not going down without a fight. We're at least going to take some some uh, some enemies out before we go. Okay, we'll move you right. Okay, well, maybe I don't want to sacrifice something. Let's go. I might sacrifice this Karibo, though. I always do. Get that Karibo right there. And I guess it's not even worth moving him up. Eh, it might be. Yeah, it's worth moving. The Larva Moth is just never going to make it over there. But he trying. And Larva Moth coming. He just he just can't move over there, man. And Larva Moth is just useless I for this type stop. of field. Dark Magician Girl, actually, believe it or not, would have been useful here. <laughs> Which is funny. Wow, you coming after him from over there? Whoa, that take a lot, too. Man, that Karibo about to be gone. If that's... Well, Karibo, it's been nice, but you starting to fall off, Karibo. Whoa, that guy do a lot, too. Oh, man, we about to be. <laughs> that Curse of Dragon about to be gone, man. <laughs> oh, man, look at that Curse of Dragon. He's like, do I get Karibo or Curse of Dragon? He's like, get that Curse of Dragon. There go Curse of Dragon. There you go. Now, who you coming after? Oh, Ryukishin, man, leave him alone, man. Leave Ryukishin alone. 
Oh, Rikishin almost dead. Alright, let's 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 see if we can redeem ourselves after all that. Yeah, we getting beat now. This feral imp never moved. <laughs> like, let's we might have to start bringing the feral imp and thing. Like, everybody almost dead over here. Alright, let's see here. Uh, we got Karibo who can not move at all. Okay, so I got the moon right here. Let's go ahead and attack this guy, cause what else can I do? Attack. Whoa, that sucker got a lot of health, man. Okay, so you can't really do nothing but get this guy up here. Go ahead and get him, man. Let's just do some attacks before you go down. Hopefully you can level up soon. Like at least get your levels in there. Oh man. He ain't even level up. Wow. Okay, I know you are came move. Alright, so let's get this attack in. Can you beat him? Oh, Maybe Summon Skull can beat him. Let me see if I can get Summon Skull to get him out of the way. Can Summon Skull just beat this guy? Okay, okay. Okay, we're gonna get some and scar the experience. So I'm gonna have you start it off for you, though. Get them started. Okay, so he Karibo got him started. Uh actually can you actually do something? Oh, you can get that guy at least. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm willing to get that a shot. Why not? Okay, we're gonna have some and scar attack that guy first though. Alright, Summon Skull. Well, Summon Skull sh shall survive. Attack this guy. So at least Summon Skull don't survive. But Ryu Kishin and Karibo and Lamoon are probably at risk. If I will have everything taken. Okay, you just gonna have that everything taken away from you. Now anyway, let's go ahead and get these guys going. Throw them in there. I know it's low, but just attack it. <laughs> like... You know what? Just just get him. Get him some damage on the board. Right, here go this guy. This slow creeper. Man. He ain't going nowhere. Right, let's see. Can you even move? Oh, you so far behind. <laughs> and get him up on the board. Man. You're going to need to be closer anyway because, you know, we about to lose two pieces. I, I can feel it. But he about to be gone, though. He almost worn down. Look, that Karibo getting attacked. Ah. Oh. That destroyed. That go that Karibo. That Karibo was so proud. That Karibo sucked, man. <laughs> Karibo gone, man. Uh oh, he gone too. Yep. Boom. Boom. Ryu Kishin power. Gone. He's <laughs> just gone, man. Alright. Is he gone too? Doom. <laughs> gone. <laughs> well, he gone too, man. He only had a fit 150. I'm going to start taking him out of there, man. Because he. That thing leveled up? Oh, y'all can level up? Oh my goodness, oh yeah. What kind of playbook is that? Y'all level up? Oh, okay. Odeon out here leveling up. Goodness. Okay, so if you level up, let's see. Okay, can he beat him? Can you beat this piece of junk? Oh, he leveled up, man. He good, man. Shoot. Okay, it's getting risky now, man. Because now, that that's sucking the level up. I don't know what we got to do here. I kind of want to go back and regroup a little bit, to be honest. Like, like I'm losing now. It's looking bad. Like I could try to get some damage on him, but there's no point right now. So we're going to start moving back. We're going to start with him. gonna start moving our thing up even though it's useless but let's go back a little bit we gotta regroup a little bit because otherwise we about to lose our pieces and we might lose to Odeon this ain't good 
we trying out here, but we might lose to this guy. Okay, that ain't too much. That ain't bad. Shake that off. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, can you do anything? You can't. Okay. So you suck. Alright. <laughs> you just suck. Okay. Noted. That one sucks. Oh, man. You can't do nothing here. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Okay, get on in there anyway, though. Like, at this rate, just get in there. Get on the board. Heal him some damage, man. Over here, level one. Up. Oh, no, don't end my turn. Are you get, I guess, right behind him? We'll see. I might put this, this thing behind him. I can't really go nowhere. Okay, get up there, take some damage, uh, Feral Imp, since you cannot beat nobody. That's about all I can do right there. I couldn't do much. I attacked with Summon Skull and had to call it a day. So somebody else might lose here, but oh well. We about to get past his pieces for better or for worse. Yeah, that's Summon Skull. He working on Summon Skull, man. He about to get worked. <laughs> Look at this. 190. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, he, he working on Summon Skull, man. He don't like Summon Skull. Look at this. Sucker know what he doing. <laughs> Coming to get that summon skull, man. Oh man. Tired of this, man. Odeon just bogus out here, man. Can't beat Larva Moth, man. You better back up. I think this is this Larva Moth. Oh, Larva Moth getting beat here. Man, Lar Larva Moth ain't so great, actually. You might not have used on Larva Moth in that moment, man. Larva Moth about to get cooked. Okay, so it's looking bleak now. <laughs> it's looking real bleak. But, you can get this guy. And wait, wait. If I move Larvamoth out here, he can I do nothing. Okay. They made him pitiful out here. Okay, Lamoon, take this guy out of here for me. Just take him out for me. Suck it away. Tad. Shouldn't have been on the board so long, man. Okay, so he gone. All right, let's go ahead. Feral Imp, please be able to get somebody. Feral Imp, you good for nothing, man. Feral Imp is trash, too. We might actually lose out here. Like, Feral Imp is just trash out here. Like, Marvel Moth gonna be useless. Like, this is bad. <laughs> we gonna lose this time. This is horrible. Like, our pieces just legitimately suck this time. And Odin, our strategy was something I was not prepared for, man. Like, this is bogus, man. Look at this. Getting Pharaoh in from a distance. Oh man, I did a lot too. Oh no. Oh, Pharaoh in about to go, man. Look at this. Okay, well, Pharaoh in is alive. But, man, look at this, man. The moon can't do nothing no more. Oh, we about to be done here. <laughs> okay, so hopefully I can at least take out somebody with this Pharaoh in, man. Okay, yeah, get here so I can take out that thing at least. But wait, let me see if Larva Moth. No, Larva Moth can't do nothing. Man. Yeah, Larva Moth just pitiful out here. Alright, so we're gonna move you right here. So that you can at least take this out. Can you? Okay. Well, I hope you can at least take that out. But take, get rid of that Tiki, man. You gotta go. Tiki man been alive for too long. Okay, you move up, even if you die, who cares? Move up. You definitely need to move up. I don't know if you need to move up here, there, or what. But you definitely need to move somewhere. Move, move here, whatever. And move our base up to skip. Okay, hopefully we can beat this guy, but it looks like we're gonna lose. <laughs> <laughs> like, it really looked like we legitimately going to lose this time. Like, it's unfortunate, but, I mean, look at this. Destroyed. Oh, man. The moon was the best chance of beating it, too. Unfortunately. Like, and I think he knows that, too. It leveled up, too. Oh, man. This is horrible, man. 
we're gonna lose to Odin. We're gonna have to retry again, man. Now, what happens in this game when I lose? Do I get a save data? Or what do I get? Okay, let's go ahead and attack this thing. Because why not? Oh, no. Oh, my. <laughs> yeah, we about to lose, man. It's unfortunate, too. What's his special ability? He just bring PP back? Oh, that's useless. Come on, you just bring PP back. Oh, we done lost. Like, what else can we do? Like, we've lost. <laughs> like, there's nothing else. He he was he was in his fort, and there was nothing we could do about it. Like, there's nothing I can do about this. This <laughs> is man. You can't catch a break with this guy. I'll tear down your like, what were we supposed to do out here? Oh man, we can't even move right. Oh man, they just They just did us extra bad. Here. Okay, well we lost. We lost. But uh let's go ahead and get lost. <laughs> like there is nothing. That was checkmate right there. Odeon cheated, man. <laughs> he done got us. We're going to have to grind. Because if we don't, we're just going to lose out here. <laughs> man, Odeon. Yugi, you let your chance at victory flee. And now, you are ensnared in the shadows of despair. I win this duel, Yugi. All the skills I sensed in you before the duel, I felt their power during the fight. Ha! However, you do not plan to surrender so easily, do you? Never! I will not stop until the title is in my hand! Then the time will come when we battle again. Goodbye, Yugi. Odeon was hard. That's that game over, man. That sent me back to the thing. My goodness. Wow. What do they mean by continue playing? Yeah, I'll continue playing. What y'all mean? <laughs> like, what y'all mean continue playing? They asked me, do I want to continue playing, man? Ah, oh, man, Odeon is just something else right there. All right, anyway, let's try him again. <laughs> man, these battles take so long, it sucks to lose. Odeon just cheating, man. And I heard Pegasus going to be difficult, so this is just nothing nice. Nothing nice. Can I skip that? I've seen this before, Odeon. You showed me your desert area before. I can't skip his desert area. Man. So you are the one known as... Skip. Odeon don't get to talk no more. Skip it, Odeon. Skip it, Odeon. Skip it. All right, let's deal with this man, man. We lost. We spent all that time and lost. Okay, I still want to go first. I haven't changed my mind on that. I might use Dark Magician Girl against him, actually, to be honest. Considering how his monsters operate, she's probably going to be fine. Uh, Feral Imp suck. <laughs> hey, we won't be using that Feral Imp too much. It could work. It's just, it was sucky. It was pretty sucky. Curse of Dragon was great. I just sacrificed them. I shouldn't have. Oh, yeah, we got the Zoa out here, too. All right, so let's see. Oh, so now I can use all my monsters. I guess they timer is out. That's funny. I guess they give you something if you lose. All right, anyway. Let's get Dark Magician Girl out here. Curse of Dragon, definitely. I want to put in Zoa, actually, to be honest, after that. 
How does Zoa move? I can't even find out. Thank you for not even showing me how Zoa moves. Zoa is like 228 though, man. Zoa is expensive. Okay, these two good though. I mean, Summon Skull don't move too great for this map. Like, he was a kind of liability in a weird kind of way. I know two had a King Rex would be good. The moon was pretty good, but it was pretty useless too. Um, let's get Baby Dragon Train back up, I guess. Maybe we'll see. You kind of failed us. <laughs> like, no offense, he failed us. Uh, Karibo couldn't really do anything here. I'll put Karibo in, though. It's cheap. And the right lady with Zodiac right back in there, too. I do need to train up this Time Wizard and everything, though. Uh, get Time Wizard in. Where's Baby Dragon? Okay, now I got 60. I got 60, y'all. Uh, Hmm. I want that something skull, man. All right, so I got 60. Uh, he's 68. He sucked, though, for this. There's a penguin soldier. I mean, the larva... Mo no, the larva moth is useless here. Like, I probably do need earth monsters here. So who's 60 that's earth monsters? I got that. I just don't want to train him. At all. I keep looking at these guys like they're going to do something. So light monsters are doing better on this field from what I'm seeing. So I probably should just get the moon out anyway. But it seems like this field is not good for dark monsters actually. So I'm over here thinking I'm doing something about getting Dark Magician going, but I'll probably do So let's take her out. Um, let's get the moon back in. And now I can also get somebody else that's decent. Uh, uh, Harpy Lady won't help too much with her movement, though. Now maybe I do need Dark Magician go because the way she moves across the board is pretty useful. And the moon is good, though. Uh, get rid of Baby Dragon for now. We might just have to put some sucky monsters on. So let me get Dark Magician Girl real quick. Where is she? Okay, so let's put some sucky guys in there, too. Let's go get... Uh, let's go get Time Wizard. And let's go get Larva Moth. Man, I'm tired of Larva Moth, but I... Got no choice but to put him on, unless I want to put Hanawa in. Freaking Hanawa might have to be on the team. Throw Hanawa in there, man. Just throw him in there. Skip it. Get Hanawa on the team. Okay, so we're going to move our symbol. Uh, should our symbol move? Our symbol suck, man. Our symbol going back here. In the cut. All right, symbol back there. Don't care. Okay, so I need to be smart about who I'm putting in the front. So I'm gonna put the weak monsters in the front this time. Um, yeah, throw in Hanawa right there. Time Wizard. Get Time Wizard right there. Egg of Exodia, right there. Karibo, right there. La Moon, right there. Two headed King Rex. Right here, excuse me. Curse of Dragon. Uh, we'll put Curse of Dragon right there. And Dark Magician Girl, how does she move in? Yeah, I guess it right there is good. Yeah, right here is good. Alright. That that seems like some pretty good position right there. So what I'm going to try to do is, I probably should have brought Fairland actually. Because what I'm going to probably try to do is have them attack from the fort. And they have some people charge into the battlefield. Alright, so we're going to start by getting these guys ready.
Get him wet. Get him wet. We're gonna try a new strategy today. I think I do want my moon to go up there. Oop. Get the moon, and now I can only get the moon. Okay, that worked. All right, cool. It's best to get the weaker guys ready and set up. That way they can already start moving in. Then uh, the big guys can come in later. That way we can start doing some stuff. Like we got to get a move on and get Odeon before he gets his pieces set up. Like <laughs> he just got so much defense, man. Like they wrong for how they did Odeon in this game. They wrong for this. Start getting some of these gas ready. Definitely you. And I guess that's about it. Can't really get these guys away from I might have misplayed. I probably should have left Kalibo alone. Oh well. Anyway, that's how that's how it is. Let's go. I hope we beat ODM this time. Like, I can't keep losing ODM. I refuse to keep losing to Odeo. Like, I refuse. Let's awaken these guys. Okay, we'll call it at that. That don't seem like too bad a formation. It seems like Lamoon or somebody about to get hit, but if it draws this guy out, it didn't draw him out. He just moved closer to him. Oh, man. Odeon, the way he be playing, he be just trying to get his pieces ready, man. The way this sucker be playing is annoying. It's very much annoying. Get it started. Okay, well you just stay right there. You know? There's no point in even moving you. That way, since you're not going to do nothing. Well, you can get there, but it's not really helpful. You know, we're going to throw the leg out there. If it's doomed, it's doomed, but it needs to be out there. So, do you hear Cursor Dragon? And Karibo will move Karibo up here. Okay, let's just see what happens. I don't know if we can even get past Holden. <laughs> and I, I don't know what I'm going to do. Go back to the drawing board of what man like Odeon is just annoying out here man like oh time was about to get got <laughs> like this time was about to suffer man okay that thing awakening 
Would have been nice if I had took that sucker out before he got to awaken. But oh. So I guess Odeon's weakness is he can't move his monsters too efficiently. You useless. But that's okay. She's moving up in the ranks, so she's gonna be able to get right there and start doing some damage, which is good. Uh, okay, so I guess if I get Time Wizard right here, he can do some damage over here. So let's get Time Wizard right here. Okay, that won't kill him. Okay, so let me see if. Let me see if you can deal enough damage to beat him. You can't either, okay. Okay, so both of them cannot do them enough damage to beat him. So I know I'm gonna put the Lady of Exodia in like here, here. Let's see. Oh, okay, so we still can't do enough damage to deal with you, okay. Okay, so we're gonna send Time Wizard in to get him started. Like, I don't think I care about Time Wizard getting the kill because it's not that big of a deal to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send the moon in to the enemy for Skip it. Let's get rid of this guy. We're going to try to get Time Wizard in Get him. Okay, so we're going to have Time Wizard deal with this guy now. Hopefully Time Wizard can do it. Okay, Time Wizard can indeed beat him. So Time Wizard finished him. So one of them down. Okay, Time Wizard does get the level up, which I appreciate it gets the level up, so that's good. Even if it dies, it gets a level up. Nice attack. Time Wizard needed a level up on the board, man. It just never got one. Okay, so this thing can't do nothing, as per usual. So that thing was very useless. Uh, let's go ahead and move the two-headed King Rex up. Move him on up. Uh, let's get you right here. Right here. Let's get some damage on the board right here. Let's get some damage on the board, just cause. There we go. Some good damage. Got some good damage on the board. Okay, now I think I should move her so she can start getting some damage. And then we're gonna move this Karibo. This guy, wait, man. Move that Karibo right there. All right, so hopefully they don't defeat the moon, but they probably will. They probably gonna get rid of the moon. Like, she tried, but they might get rid of the moon. Look at this. Moon time is coming. But oh well, she she did help us get rid of that monster, so she helped. And it's gonna take some attacks to get rid of the moon too. I don't think you just gonna get rid of the moon. Oh, you coming after? Oh, you coming after? <laughs> Sucker said, let's get time wizard. Out. Well, thank you, time wizard. You you did a lot before you went down. Okay, well, we coming after the moon again, I see. Wow, we doing a lot on the moon this time. The moon getting attacked. I'm as usual. And that's all he can pretty much do. He ran out of points. So, now that he's out of points, let's come get this guy. So he ain't invincible. I see that there are some kinks in him. Right, let's see uh, Okay, so I can move you there, or uh, we can't really do nothing there. Okay, so we, we'll see. Let's see, maybe Hannah, Hannah Wan, or whatever he called, can, uh, he can't do nothing. <laughs> this card sucks, man. Like, this, this monster might straight up suck. But anyway, let's get rid of that thing, since it's here. Okay, good job, Karibo. Get rid of it. Take it out, Karibo. Perfect. Okay, so Karibo taking the sucker out, which is very funny if you think about it. Okay, so he can still get that guy. Let's see. That's probably all he can probably do. Okay, so I know if I move the moon, even though moving the moon ain't the greatest of things, I can put two-headed King Rex up in there. He can start going in on these guys. So I probably am going to move her back just... Just to get her out of it. I'm gonna put it right over here. Okay, we got the two-headed King Rex out here now. 
Okay, well, who is this? Can't beat him? Oh, man. Can we beat this guy? No, oh, we can't. Okay, so we're going to work on this guy then. Because there's no point in not working on beating that guy. And can you move somewhere? You can move there for no reason. Okay. Okay, so we're going to have the leg attack here. Oh, you know, leg attacks. Okay, so he doesn't have too much health, so I know 2 the King Rex should be able to put him away. Now, quiet, you. You have to move. I'm tired of you, old man. I'm tired of you specifically. Okay, well, we'll worry about you later, Dr. Machine. Anyway, let's get 2 the King Rex in there to just at least get this guy out of here. Get him out of my sight. Beat him. He gone now. Good, so at least they gone. Alright, we're gonna move Dark Magician real close. Huh. Nah, right there's a dead end. We'll move her right there. Now we can't move Curse of Dark, which is unfortunate. Let's move him, because I'm tired of just having him out here doing nothing. Alright, let's go. We're going to be able to do this. We're going to get him this time. we will get you this time. Over here. Yeah, I bet you do want revenge on the two-headed King Rex. How much you did to him? Oh, man, that's a whole lot. Okay, but that two-headed King Rex is powerful. Man. He ain't just going. Uh-oh, he is just going. Oh. <laughs> two-headed King Rex. He was so young. Oh. <laughs> they got that two-headed King Rex, man. These suckers got him. <laughs> I am tired of Odeon, man. Odeon cheating. Odeon's just cheating, man. He's just cheating. Like, I, I promise you, he cheating. Like, he is just cheating, man. It's like our monsters just suck real bad, and he's just beating everybody, man. Right, anyway, we never can move the right way. Okay, we got Dark Magician, man. Don't bring her into the floor. Oh my goodness, she just, she just is a horrible card. Okay, we'll move her right here anyway. Move her right here. Okay, we'll wait on you. Okay, the moon about to die for sure. Throw him in there, just get him in the chair. Right, skip him. Alright, so, oh my goodness. Throw him in there too. Oh man, this is bad. I should have just got. Oh man, I'm messed up. Just move these guys in there, man. They lose, they lose. I just need to get somebody in there. Somebody need to be somewhere. But, man, I'm tired of dealing with Odeon. Odeon is just, like, he's annoying, man. He just does not go down. That leg should be able to take this. But Odeon is just a very annoying person to fight, man. Why they do him like this? They made him horrible in this game. Man. Like, he ain't going for nothing. Just for nothing, he ain't going. Like, he just, like, I ain't going down. And I am tired of Odeon. Oh, man. <laughs> well, at least eight pieces are split up, so now I can start getting them. But... Oh. How they level one up in the battle? More abuse on the leg, man. We that leg one. That leg is powerful, man. That leg is an all star. All star champ. Alright, anyway. Okay, so luckily we still got our some of our strong monsters left, like right? this Curse of Dragon. We still got it, even though he... <sighs> My monsters just don't move correctly on this field, man. This is stupid. <laughs> like, it's just stupid, man. Look, look at this. Nothing... Okay, well, maybe right there. Or right here, I guess. But, oh, look at this, man. What, what is going on here? 
Okay, so we can get here for some stupid reason. And then, no, oh, when we get right there, we'll be just too far in the loop. We need to get here. So I'm going to try to get here or something. So I can get that guy back over there or something. I don't know. I really don't know what we're going to have to do here. Alright, so all I know is I can move. Yeah, if I can get here, then I can at least attack that guy. Because I know he can attack this guy, right? Somehow? Oh, he just never can. Okay. Okay, so what we're going to do with this guy is... This guy's going to go over here and attack this guy. Because why not? Just attack him. Like, why not? Okay, that is not good enough. But, <laughs> whatever. Okay, and I can move him here. So I got to move this Karibo. So let's see what Karibo can move to. How many places he can move to? He can move over here. And then we can start... I don't know what we can start doing, but if we can... Now how much health does this guy got? Like, if I move here, and then we start working on this guy. He's right here. What is he? I think we can start getting this guy out there. Hopefully. Now we look like we're coming after you, man. Don't sleep on that. Well, bogus cards so far. We're coming to get you. Don't you don't you go over here fret. There you go. So that leg got rid of him there. Mm-hmm. The leg of Exodia, man. Don't 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 you over here act so crazy, high and mighty, man. That's the leg of Exodia coming to get you. Okay, so you really can't really do nothing good. But get right there. Alright, so we're gonna have you go here. You what know, I want you to kinda like go from here to the let me see. Can you do enough damage to get this guy? You can't. It'd be nicer than me going over here just to just to really fail. Cause like, how much damage does does I do to this? Not not nearly enough. So I might just get right here just to get this stuff. Yeah, we need to be in the loop. So let's get here and let's put some damage on this guy. That way we can at least whittle this thing down. So that's perfect. Alright, that's all we can do. I guess that's going to have to be perfect. Alright, anyway. Put the symbol right here. Man, this symbol is useless. <laughs> this symbol is useless. Maybe I should invest into the symbol strength and just keep running dark monsters. Maybe. Who knows? Maybe. But, you know, it's too late now. Oh, so you did exactly 102, huh? For that leg of Exodia. Leg of Exodia always gone. Man. He happy too. Look at look at him smile. Oh, this sucker about to go out the dark magician. Okay, how much was okay, she got a lot of health. That's good. Man, look at this. Okay, well at least she got a lot of health though. She she's tanking these attacks. I will say that. So that's good. They still gonna need two attacks out of them. Okay, we can get him. We can get him. Let's get this guy. We still got the advantage out here. Mm, okay. So I can either start going after him or start going after him. Well, also, from what I see, I got this Karibo out here. So I can put the Karibo here. I can put the Karibo. Oh, no. I technically gotta put the Karibo here. Otherwise, that Karibo does not. Now, with you, I can get you here, and you can start doing some damage to this thing. And then I also believe we can, yeah, we might be able to work together and take that thing out. So, I'm going to have this guy take out this. Beat it. Out of here, you. Okay, so he got him. So, he did, he got somebody on the board. That was good. Okay, so... Who would be more of a threat? I think this thing is more of a threat. So what we might do is, uh, I don't know. <laughs> okay, well, what the only thing we can do here, then I guess, because we can't even get that thing attack. Okay. Well, what we gonna do is, <laughs> this is this, I guess, because what else can we do? Out here? Okay, get over here. And start coming after this guy. So we're gonna we're gonna rush this guy. So let me see how much this does. Though. Okay. 
Okay, so I can be up to 170. And he has how much health? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna. I guess the best course of action is just to move this guy here. I guess. Yeah, move him here. So we're gonna have these two work on this guy. Okay, so they can gonna beat this guy, and then we're gonna throw Karibo in there just to do an assault on that monster. So we're gonna go right here, Dr. Bishop. And, and, okay, I think it's destroyed. So Rock'em Sock'em Robo is gone. Good, we're getting them this time. It's a new day today. Okay, you level up, so level three for Dr. Bishop. That's good. Man, this fight is hard. This is the fight of your life out here. With uh, Odeon. Alright, let's go right here. Hey, I should have told me Odin was gonna be a monster out here, but I didn't know he was gonna do all this. And he got that one lone monster out there trying to make a combat. You ain't, ain't gonna work, Odin. He's gonna get you. He sure enough gonna get you, Odin. It don't happen like that. Alright, anyway, so he gonna get either Dark Magician Girl or that Hanawan or somebody. He's gonna get somebody. I know. I know Odin. He's gonna take somebody. Who you taking out? Dark Magician Girl, of course. Of course, man. <laughs> gone. Just gone. <laughs> man. I'm tired of this guy. <laughs> like, y'all made Odeon out here brutal, man. Like, what was going on with the developers out here? Like, oh, you know, we got some for Odeon. We just gonna make him cheap. Okay. How y'all doing this, but whatever. Anyway, let's get Odeon going. He almost out now. I won't curse a dragon to get shut up, Odeon. I won't curse a dragon to get the level up here. So we're gonna have curse a dragon finish this man. All right, I still like curse a dragon though. Curse a dragon seems to be one of the best cards I've seen in this game. He's great. All right, Odeon gone. Good. Now we can move on with the video. Oh, I skipped his dialogue. That's how mad I was with Odeon. I don't want to hit nothing Odeon got to say. Man. Skip Odeon. What Odeon say? Skip Congratulations, Cheetah. Yugi. Cheetah. I feel honored that I was able to duel an opponent with such skill. I don't feel honored. I feel cheated. Odeon, I too share the same sentiment. So it is. So it will be. Go, Yugi. Let's see if you can climb the mountain and win this tournament. Right. That cheater. That was horrible, man. It's horrible. All right, anyway, he gone now. So now that he gone, did these guys? Okay, Cursed Dragon got a well-deserved level up. Level him up. Okay, we can take some cards from him. So his stuff was leveling up, apparently. So like his, his stuff got some levels to him. Like these don't. But look, these don't. That's why he was hard. Some of his stuff was just leveled up. It's odd. I don't care about no Fire Reaper, even if it is leveled up with him, man. Skeleton's leveled up. Man. Give me this Hitsutasumi Giant and this Eastern thing. Who cares? <laughs> like, like, whatever, Odeon. Got a leveled up Fire Weeper. Alright, um, let me go ahead and save. Man, that was just all nonsense right there, man. Odeon just was all nonsense, man. All nonsense. Alright, so he's gone now. Thank goodness, man. So we're going to... Uh, I guess, do we fight Pegasus or Bandit Keith next? Uh, let's deal with, wait, wait, we lost the moon. So, yeah, that's going to suck. Let's deal with Pegasus, actually. Go see if we can get Pegasus out there. Where is Pegasus? All right, hopefully Pegasus is not too bad, but we'll see. They all horrible on this, so he, he probably going to be just as lethal. Look at Pegasus, standing like a proud man. Hopefully Odeon is harder though, because like Odeon was a nonsense, man. 
And his stuff was nonsense mainly because he had um, um, so much defense. Oh, this music sound, it's going to be hard. Man. Yeah, I was watching uh, Clips play against him, and Pegasus was doing a lot, man. So I, I hope we can get past him here. Maximilian Y'all should check out his video. His videos is his videos is good on this too. He plays capsule monsters too. So go ahead and check out his videos. Man, this is this is a nonsense battle. Now, Yugi Boy, let the fun and games begin. Fine, Pegasus. Let's do it. My goodness, man. <laughs> like my goodness, man. These games. Man, these Yu-Gi-Oh games. I'm over here thinking I'm gonna have a good time going through this game, and I'm over here struggling, man. This happened to me in Duelist of the Roses too. I got to that final boss, and that final boss was just whooping me. It happened in Forbidden Memories. It happened all the time. You just get whooped, taken out by these enemies. No chance. No chance. Okay, he got how many monsters? That's okay. That's four. Okay. Five, six. Okay, six, so I'm gonna go have seven, right? <laughs> like, that's how this game like to roll. If they get six, I can get seven, right? There you go. I'm starting to get a feel for what they be doing. All right, so he only got six monsters. That's not too bad. Uh, let's see here. Give me, give me that summon skull. Let's see, give me, uh, actually, I might need this too. Man, give me the moving fortress, man. Oh, man, my Curse of Dragon, man. We'll see on that Curse of Dragon. Um, do I got any other electric monsters here? This costs so much, man. That's that's ridiculous. Um, let's see. Um, I should have went to the shop and got me something, to be honest. Okay, bring him because if this guy got light monsters, I think I'd be good with stuff like that. It's Karibo. Give me the Karibo. Do we got Baby Dragon? Where's Baby Dragon? Yeah, I want Baby Dragon. Okay, we got two more, two more spaces. Should we start training that guy? Okay, we got a heartbeat lady. We can get that right back. Uh, we might start throwing out Winged Dragon Garden at the Fortress 1 because we ain't did that. Like, we got a lot of points. <laughs> there go that Curse of Dragon. Though. Actually, we got just enough for this guy. <laughs> like, we should probably start training Winged Dragon Garden. Fortress. So, uh, Harpy Lady, we're gonna take out. Uh, let me get Wing Dragon Guardian of Fortress. Let's start getting him going. Uh, you know, that's one of them Yugi monsters, them old school monsters, man. I like the old school monsters. He has a fair amount. Like, he might help us, or he might just be trash for us right now. I want to like the Ryukishin, but, uh, I, mean, I don't know. We just failed with him last time. He just failed. The Marvel Moth out here. Okay, so we got another 48, 148, so we can put, oh man, we can't get this Curse of Dragon. So I might tweak, I might get rid of Baby Dragon, just so we can squeeze in Curse of Dragon. Yeah, get him out of here. Let me throw in Curse of Dragon. Now, I know Curse of Dragon gonna do good. And now we got some points. Let's see, I might throw a Logos Leg or, or a Larva Moth in there. Although I would like Larva Moth to not be in there because he's bad. I'm going to train Tariki. Ah oh, man, he 81 too. He almost made it. 89. Let's see here. So here's this guy. If I could swap him out and put in, I guess, this thing instead, then I can get a. Uh, I don't know. I can't get much. Uh, yeah, I'll probably just get the Larva Moth, because, like, Larva Moth seems pretty good when I don't know what else to get. I need to take out one of these Wing Dragon Guard and Fortress, too. Okay. So, yeah, we're going to get that Larva Moth, I guess. Or I could take him out completely and get my Feral Imp back on the board. Because this guy has horrible health, man. His health is so bad. It's just not even funny. So, give me the Feral Imp, and let's get the Larva Moth. No, not Needle One, Larva Moth. Sure. Well, we got the Larva Moth again. Even though I should give um, Hanawa another chance since he did good last time, to be honest. Yeah, we might get that Hanawa another chance, man. Hanawa needs some levels. 
wine. Let's get Hunter wine on chance. He did good. All right. We got our squad, our whole team. Hopefully this team can do something. Okay, so, oh, they making me voice it right there. Okay. Let me go ahead and do what I did before. Put my weak guys up in the front. Like, actually, I ain't got that many weak guys. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I got seven. Just making sure if I got seven or not. Um, I got some strong monsters out here, so this ain't too bad. Okay, we're going to throw Hannah Wine. Uh, put him on the edge. And we'll put that Karibo on the edge, too. Karibo on the other edge. Okay, we'll put some in Skull. Put him on the side right here. And gear moving fortress. Okay, we'll put him. I had him once right there. We're gonna put him here. Uh, Wing Dragon, how do you move? Okay, you move pretty straightforward. So we'll put you right here, I guess. I don't know. Maybe that wasn't the right spot, but okay, here's Cursor Dragon who moves like this for some reason. We put him right there. Feral Imp moves normal, so we'll put Feral Imp. Let's see what who we got over here? We got them. That's a pretty good squad right here. This squad is like they need more help. Yeah, we'll put them back here to help out these guys. These guys gonna need some help. Okay. Yeah. So he helping the team, and the team is desperate, desperate for some wins. This team is doing. It's time to start. It's just time to start. Not time to do it, but time to start. Okay. Okay. I don't know what I'm looking at the dinghies for. Okay. Anyway, uh, let's hatch. Actually, I probably should just hatch my strong monsters and just call it a day right there. Yeah, hatch that. We're gonna get one side going. We're gonna get the side. And I guess we got the Karibo going. So that's good. Okay, that ain't bad. We got a lot of AP this time. We got 515, so that's, that's much better than before. So Pegasus is gonna awaken his, uh, that thing. <laughs> He's gonna awaken this grass thing. Okay, monsters we've seen. And what's this? I don't know. Okay. So he don't seem too bad. His monsters look bogus like that. Here I go. Alright, let's see here. Let's, let's get you out here. Get awakened. And I'm awaken all my guys because I just don't I don't want them stuck in the capsules. Anymore. Once I beat a capsule, like I did in one of those playthroughs, I, I thought that was odd. I'm fine with that. Okay, what are we doing? Hatching these ones? Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Okay, that's Rogue Dog over there. And that's a tree. Tree. And that's a Penguin Soldier. Good old Penguin Soldier. So Pegasus monsters don't make no sense. Ain't no rhyme and reason for what he got. Like this look odd, actually. This don't make no sense, actually, Pegasus. What are we doing now? Get them ready. Uh, now, how do you move? Do you move straight or do you move? Okay, you move straight, so I want you right. Oh, okay, that's interesting. I like that. Uh, we'll put you there. Uh, who wants you moving out? So, look who you are. Okay, you might stay right there. Yeah, 
I like that a lot better. Yeah, I like that much better. All right, and now move this up. All right, let's go. Seeing like this would be sufficient. Coming after that summon skull, determined, huh? Yeah, summon skull bulky though. Thank goodness, right? Okay, there go that tree. Go that penguin soldier. And there go Hanaway. Hanaway. Let's go get that Hanaway. I see you. Come on down, Hanaway. Okay, we're getting them started. Don't think your actions won't be avenged. Uh, Pegasus didn't see that coming with his Meridian Eye. Alright, let's see. Let's get this guy moving. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can finish it. Okay. If we get you here, you can finish that. Oh, you, you're pretty good when you drag the Guardian of Fortress 1. Right, how do you move, though? You might be able to... No, you can't do nothing. <laughs> you might be able to not do anything. Okay. So you ain't gonna be doing nothing. I know you can get him, because you right there. Uh, you can wish, but you can't really make it happen, okay. So you're gonna stay right over there. Let's see, uh, and the Hanawan thing is right here, so it might as well go here. And get it started. Let's see how much you got. Let's get you started. Okay. That's pretty good. Okay, you can't really do a whole lot. I see you couldn't do anything. If I remember correctly. Okay, so we're gonna have you move up and get this guy. Yeah, just like that. What did I wanna have a move like next to this thing and get this guy? Nah. We'll get this guy. Just to Keep some momentum on this side going. Let's get him. And the one is gone. It might not be a threat, but it's gone. So it's definitely not a threat now. This is getting difficult. <laughs> it's getting difficult for Pegasus. Man, we ain't even did nothing, Pegasus. Pegasus just in the game like this is getting difficult. Like Pegasus, if this is getting difficult, you doomed. We ain't really doing too much here, Pegasus. Like, come on, man. Come on now, Pegasus. We ain't doing too much out here. I want to move him up, but yeah, I'll move him up. I want to, so I'm going to move. Oh, it's not dead? Wow. That is shocking, actually. So if it's not getting beat down, what the hell are we doing here? Wow, we doing That's what we're doing out here. Wow. I probably should have moved it over here then, just to get rid of this thing. can't beat it. It must have had more stats than I thought. That's unfortunate. Oh well, that's about all we can do today. At least we got enough points to move everybody though. So, somebody about to get beat here. It ain't gonna be Karibo, I guess. At least Karibo's safe, but somebody else about to get beat. Okay, who we attacking at? Okay, whatever. Hey, if you want to get rid of him, whatever. Acceptable moss right there. <laughs> like, I don't care. Hey, I don't care if you want to get Hanawan or whatever they call it. Now, who you going? Oh, you just going. Okay. Well, Y'all just moved on up. Okay, cool. They moved right up for me to get Alright, where can you go? I know you can probably do something. Because you always can. Yeah, look at him. You can get him from right over here. That's a good monster right there. You can generally do something, which is good. That's what we need. Monsters that can generally do something. Oh, we can attack his thing. Okay, attack his thing. Wait, 
Why not? Alright, let's see. Uh, you can just attack that thing, actually. So we can move you here. And, uh, we could also move you here and get that and get that water. Let's see, how much damage would you do to it? Oh, that's not too much. Like, your attack is going into the gutter right there. That's that's pitiful. Yeah, that was pitiful. This monster kind of sucks in a lot of ways. But let's get the tree going. Okay. The tree is getting wear down. Let's see if this can beat the tree. Can't beat the tree, huh? Man, that tree ain't going, huh? Let's see. Yeah, I can get the tree. I just gotta figure it out. I'm about to get you, though. Hannah Wayne ain't gonna get rid of you. Out of here. Defeated by Hannah Wayne. <laughs> Did he get the level up? There you go. He need to get the level up. He deserves it. Uh, he been out here just hanging on by a thread every single time. Get this penguin, man. This penguin ain't going, man. Hey, the penguin is not going. But I'm going to have to do something to this penguin. That's why that penguin moved right there. He was slick. He knew what he was doing. Oh, well, get this penguin started, man. Get it started. Okay, that ain't bad. Now, can you beat the penguin? That ain't enough. What about you? Can you even attack the penguin? If I get here, I can attack the thing. How much can I deal to it? Huh. So, I think the penguin is more of a threat. So, I think I'm going to get rid of the penguin, to be honest. Like, I really do think the penguin is going to be an issue. So, let's get the penguin. Let's get that penguin out of the way. Like, I do not trust this penguin. Get him. The penguin gone. My mystical powers didn't tell me that this duel would be so difficult. Well, Pegasus is getting worked out here. Oh, and I don't got enough points to even attack that thing. Okay. That's unfortunate, actually. Okay, that's. It's alright. But uh, whatever. So, anyway, I'm gonna put this right here. I don't care, I'll move it. Alright, that's it. Since I couldn't move nobody else. Okay, we about to get him. Pegasus ain't too far down. He just got three more people. I got that his three things are gone. He gone. Okay, he attacking Karibo because he kinda mad. That was a Okay, it looks like he ain't taking too much. Right here. So that's good. So he got some defense to him. See who getting hit. Okay, Cursor Dragon can take this. Like, I'd be shocked if he couldn't, but he can. Cursor Dragon pretty tanky too. Okay, let's get this guy. Like, this guy seems to be going down. I mean, there's not much he can do out here, which is perfect. Oh, so if I can get right here, I can get that rogue dog. Okay, perfect. All right, let's see what you can do to move in the fortress. Okay, he can move here and then he can start doing some stuff, so that's good. Okay, so him and Karibo can take out this guy. Get old buddy right here. Yeah, let's do that. Let's get this guy. Let's move him. Get this guy. You know, that's not much, but whatever. Every little bit helps. Let's start work working on it. Let's move you on. You attack him too. 
So I guess Pegasus likes his symbol being close to them because I guess his symbol is powering them up like crazy. Okay, we'll wait on you. Uh, we might have you finish the job. Alright, let's see. Let's go ahead and move this. Okay, we can move him here and we can have him at least start. Okay, let's get you here. That way you can start on this guy. Yeah, start. Start taking that Trent thing out. Okay. That's perfect. Alright, you... Actually, yeah, you can start getting this guy. I guess you could beat this guy, but I don't see the point there. Let's get you over here. Okay, well, let's wait. Let's see who can move where, though. Okay, we're starting to get these guys. Uh, let's see. You can move here and be able to get... Oh, okay, so you can also get a fair amount of these guys, too, then. Okay. So, Curse of Dragon. Well, I know it's good. We can get it right. Yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to move Curse of Dragon right here. Curse of Dragon start. Wow, Curse of Dragon can't do too much to this world, though. Okay, so you do about 36 to that world, though. That's pitiful. How much do you do to that world, though? Much more, so that's good. So Curse of Dragon out here doing 36 to the world, though. That's strange, but whatever. Well. Let's go ahead and have you start attacking this. Okay, since you can't even reach them, I want you to beat this guy. Let's summon Skull do it. Okay, that's good. Now you go ahead and get right here in the water for some stupid reason. Terrible. Go ahead and just do something. Some damage is better than no damage. Okay, well that's not exactly what we need, but oh, and this can't move. Oh. Okay, well that's about it then. I guess I can move my symbol thing up, but whatever. All right, that's it. Interesting. Okay, so that Karibo is a goner. Well, as long as he's not gone, that's not that bad. Oh, that Karibo gone. Well, thank you, Karibo. You did well. But you're gone now. That Karibo did really well, though. You're pretty much useless right now. You didn't get your chance, and now your chance ain't coming. Okay, so you can't really do anything here either, so. Yeah, I can move you up closer just so you can get beat. Good as that. Like, this is not his day in this one. Okay, well, you can beat this thing, though. I don't know why I would want you to beat it, though. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you try to go towards, I guess, this thing. Attack it. Okay, so we taking the symbol out at least. That's not usually how we do it, but we might get that symbol. So that's good. Uh, let's go ahead and... Actually, now you can probably move over there now. No, no, you can't. Okay, never mind. Okay, you need to stay put. <laughs> All right, so you... You come over here and finish. Oh, you can't finish? What kind of monster are you? You can't finish. What's going on here, Summon Skull? You just ain't strong enough no more? Okay, so Pharaoh Imp, go ahead and finish. Okay. Summon Skull can't, apparently. Oh, you can't either. Okay, well, whatever. Y'all work together. We're teamwork. Since y'all just some horrible monsters today. I don't know what's going on. Right. Let's go ahead. Still can't do that. What on out here? We just no good no more. We just can't beat these guys. It's ridiculous. Okay, I'm gonna move him up. He needs to get up here. Uh, you might.
might have to start retreating because you can't do it, so what's the point? Get up out of here, man. And oh man, I can't attack this thing now. Oh, I messed that up. Oh well. Uh, let's move our symbol up. And let's get it right over here, I guess. Alright, that's it. That thing can't attack no more. Hopefully the Gear Fortress guy doesn't lose, but he might. Oh, well. <laughs> Curse of Dragon Gun. He won't be used in the next battle against, uh, what was it, Bandit Keith? That's a shame, too. He would have been useful. Oh, Hanawan's going. Oh, man. Pegasus is getting mad now. He's like, I'm going to let you beat me. It's like his monsters are buffed, but I don't know why they buff. Are they just leveled up or something? Like, I think his capsules are just leveled up or something. I don't know what's going on here. But I do know it's time for him to pay. Like, I can just beat him here. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll wait to the end and see that. That might be the way to get him. just beat him here. That's funny. Yeah, this way I can keep my attack boost. So let's see, how much would this do? Ooh, that'd be a lot. Okay. We'll probably try to have him finish it. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so now y'all try to deal that thing some damage. Okay, no, I want you to not really move there. There's no way you can attack him if you don't move there, though. Oh, you can't attack. How do I? Oh, I can just attack this guy. Okay. So I can just have him attack this guy. Right here. And B. Okay. So he attacked them from right there. I can have this guy attack this guy from right here. And this should finish it. Should seal his fate. Okay, Pegasus wasn't too bad. Maybe it was a different fight with Pegasus that he was struck with. Maybe it wasn't this one. I don't know. Can't even remember now. <laughs> Maybe Pegasus come back with his Millennium Might of I don't know. Oh, I shouldn't have underestimated you. That's the only reason you won. Like, I had no trouble with Pegasus here. But who knows? I had trouble with uh, Odeon. So Odeon might just be cheating me out in this game. How can I lose? That'd be very oh, getting bad myself. Have defeated me, oh. Yugi boy. Yugi boy. <sighs> this was an incredible duel. But that was when your true skill emerged. There are many more powerful enemies waiting to take down the mighty Yugi. I hope you're prepared. I am. I hope you're prepared. I am. Okay, the symbol of it, though. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to increase our base AP like I always like to. And maybe another one of these. Yeah, maybe PP again. Yeah, base AP and PP. I <laughs> stop saying it like that, but they seem to be good on this front so far. But I know they can only attack a certain amount of time, so this might be helpful for if they start to run out. Being able to attack, I don't know. Like, I guess that's the best thing I can say. Is I just don't know. Like so far, they haven't been running out of PP, so I could just get AP and call it a day. Effect strength would be nice, but I don't know. That way I'll get some type of boost for using uh, these type of monsters, but I don't know. Hmm. The base AP seems more useful. Like most of the time the issue I'm running into is I just can't get my guys in, on, the, on the field to attack. 
Oh, what's happening here? Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna affect strength. I'm gonna go ahead and go with this deal though. Yeah, we'll do it that way. Okay, Pharaoh, I'm level up. That's good. Okay, so I'm gonna level up. That's also good. Nope. The the gear moving fortress level up. That's good too. Alright, so none of his stuff was leveled up. His stuff was just cheating, man. Okay. Let's get this rogue doll. And let's get I guess this. Oh man, man. Oh, this stuff wasn't that great. Like here's a tree. <laughs> but and this I know I can get out of the shop anytime, right? Yeah, I can get that out of the shop right now. We'll get the green phantom king. Cause I don't know, just cause. I don't know. We'll get the green phantom king. I don't know. Now, I'm going to head to the shop and see what they got. And then we're going to go back and deal with Bandit Keith. Now, I don't know if Bandit Keith was supposed to be last or if we just did him last or what. Like, it seemed like, based on what I'm seeing, is Odeon was supposed to be last. Maybe Merrick, but I don't know. Odeon was sure was cheating, though. Odeon cheated. Horrible dealing with Odeon. Deal with Odeon. Odeon out here cheating, man. Odeon. It's kind of cheap. Right, let's get up out of here. Let's see what's in the hall. The Hall of Fame. Hall of Justice. So, is it four tiers or five tiers in this game? Because if it's four tiers, we might be close to beating it, which is nice. So, let me go to the shop. Let's see if Grandpa Gohan, I mean, Grandpa Mokuba, I mean, Moto. What would you like to do? Oh, he's not, he ain't got nothing to do. Sucker just like what you like to do when you got that. Look at the same old, same old garbage in here. Yeah, he ain't got nothing. I've seen all this stuff before. He ain't got nothing. What would you like to do? For us. Nothing. It's a disgrace in that shop. Now I can go to manage monsters because I shouldn't be managing two winged dragon garden and fortress ones. Let me get one of them out. Build unit. Okay, which one? This one's experience 98, so not that one. Let's let's drop this one. Okay, I don't want no duplicates out here. Yeah, I think I'm good now. I'm tired of seeing this petite moth. I might drop him just because I'm tired of seeing him. But, uh, okay, I think we're good. Like, our collection is looking pretty pretty nice, actually. So, let's go deal with, uh, what's his name? Uh, what is his name? <laughs> I can't remember his name anymore. His name was, um, what was his name? Bandit Keith. Yeah, that guy. Let's deal with Bandit Keith. Yeah, so we almost done. Unless we go into the volcano, but yeah, here's area three. Yeah, we about to be done with this game soon. Got one more area and we gone. Alright, Bandit Keith. Let's go. The Bandit. The Living Legend. Bandit Keith. Here he is. Bandit Keith. Hands in his pocket like a true American. Alright, let's beat this American. Let's <laughs> get him defeated. Look at money. Man, they keep been robbing. Been robbing people for all the money they got. He funny for this. Bandit Keith wants some money. <laughs> hey kid, I'm your next opponent. I'm the former American champ. There's the <laughs> I'm the former American champ. If you're the former American champion, that means you're not the champion anymore, right? Shut your mouth, Runt. I'm warning you. This and me is going to be hazardous to your health. How dare you call yourself a champion? You've always dueled without pride or honor, cheating every chance you get. You've fallen far, Bandit Keith. So far that you're nothing more than a failure. Ugh, I'll make you eat your words. You're about to feel the greatest pain you've ever felt in your life. Hopefully I don't. Hopefully he's not that difficult. But let's see. Let's see what Bandit Keith got in store. It'd be funny if he cheated in this game, though. Like, if we had Bandit Keith just cheating in this game, this would be... I got an 8. Can't cheat this time, Bandit Keith. I'm going first. Cheat. 
cheat your way out of that. I'm going first, Bandit Keith. I'm about to beat you first. But yeah, I think the dark monsters in this game is pretty good, so. I don't know. They give you a lot of wood monsters too, though, in this game, too. That's that's also something to note. Wood might be the best type to get. Because I don't think they have any hurdles to them most of the time in this. Alright, let's see here. Let's go ahead and get. Oh, our leg is back. Okay, so we got eight this time. Okay. So with our eight, let's go ahead and there's the moon. We might get the moon this time. Alright, so we got. Oh, let's get that two headed King Rex. So we're going to bring in the two headed King Rex. We're going to bring in Dark Magician Girl for this one. Uh, give us the right leg of the Forbidden One. <laughs> the leg of the Forbidden One, pretty good, man. Don't sleep on the leg. I know that sounds funny, but you know, well, we might bring in Baby Dragon, just give him another opportunity, but his opportunities are just bad. Here's Lamoon, let's get Lamoon in there. Uh, here's the Rogue Dog, it's on 111, that's, uh, that's steep, but we'll see. Man, I just keep looking back at this Summit Skull, man. Like, I want this Fortress Guardian 1 to be trained, but man, he coughs so much. Let's see, so if I get him, then yeah, then yeah, I gotta get him up out of there. He costs way too much. His baby dragon. But let's get the fortress out of there because the guardian of the fortress costs so much. I mean, unless I want to get two out of King Rex out instead, because really Dark Magician Girl seems like she's not gonna be useful here. So let's get her out of there. Actually. And if she's gone, uh, now I can put in. Uh, him and Guardian of Fortress are gonna have to be the. Oh man, that sounds terrible. But the way this card moves is not good. So for this one, yeah, they're, they're gonna say, I'll use Guardian of Fortress. He seems pretty decent. Um, that's Summit Skull, man. That's Summit Skull. Summit Skull getting his opportunity. People like it or not, he going. Alright, so Summit Skull up in there. Do I need this? Time wizard? <laughs> okay, the Exodia leg. I need a little bit more now. Okay, Baby Dragon might have to be shelved again because it just doesn't work. I'm going to throw in Sonic Maid again. And we're going to throw in... Uh, who's 30? Who's exactly 30? I think Karibo was exactly 30, but Karibo gone. And you 40, a Skeleton. Happy Lover. Man, Happy Lover. I'd just be sacrificing that card. Why is the Winged Dragon Guardian of Fortress 1 so expensive? Like, I'm going to ditch him and just get this Summon Skull for this one. Oh, Summon Skull already in. Okay. And maybe I should just ditch him, to be honest. Like, what's the point of this Winged Dragon Guardian of Fortress 1? Look at that rate. Might as well just go up to just using this and then just deal with seven of them this time. I don't want to because I think having more monsters on the board is helpful. But it might not be. Maybe I should just use seven like him this time and just be smart about what I do. Because putting an extra bogus monster in just to, like, like Sonic Maid is in here. Like, what's going on here? And then I gotta put some sucky whatever in there, like, like the Exodia piece, which is horrible. And a petite moth or something. I don't know. I'll throw the happy number in there. All right, hopefully it's okay, but at least I know I can sacrifice that monster or something. Like, they ain't give me too much, too many points to work with here, which is weird. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna. Uh, I'm gonna throw this guy over here. Let's see here. So how many he got? He got he got seven monsters. Okay. And there's more electric over here, so we're gonna throw him over here. Right there. Okay, the electric monsters are over here, and we definitely throwing you right here. Let's deal with those electric monsters. to back up the Winged Dragon Guard in the Fortress one. So right here. So 
Don't send the moon over here to help. Right there. Alright, who else we got? We got Sonic Maid. Uh, we're gonna have Sonic Maid come out over here with them. Okay, Time Wizard. Uh, we'll have Time Wizard on this side. No, we'll have to put Time Wizard over here. Time Wizard's over here. Okay, the leg of Exodia gonna help. So put the leg of Exodia right here. And you will be over here too. Just because I don't know where else to put you. Alright, hopefully that, that'll work. Hopefully. <laughs> the way they split up, they might be doing it. It's time to start. Alright, let's get these guys awakened. Don't look like I can awaken everybody. So, let's awaken this actually. We're going to awaken the weak monsters. Actually, we're probably just going to awaken this whole side. Get this whole side. And we'll awaken the other side. <laughs> We're gonna awaken one side and send this side in there. But at least this side only gotta really deal with three people. So putting the happy lover on this side wasn't that big of a deal. I'll tear down your We are gonna tear down those defenses. Get up there. Oh, so you're gonna run right into the Okay, so what we're gonna do then, since we're just gonna run right into pitfalls already, apparently, is get here. Some of these guys, like, uh, I guess let's work in the room All right, so that's it for now. We starting to get rolled. We getting rolled, but it's taking it. Oh, y'all moving out there, all right? Okay. Ah, oh, man, I was hoping to get these symbols before they could awaken. <laughs> like, I'd be ready to get rid of some monsters before they can even do anything. Okay, I better start awakening this side, because these guys come. Plan already did something. Something. I was trying, but like that ain't gonna work no more. Okay, we'll keep them together. I don't want them to get too different, uh, separated. We'll move you. I'm hard to move these monsters and batches. All right, cool. That'll work. A moon to catch up. All right. Bandit Keith has to go down. There's no way he can defeat us. Right? <laughs> Hopefully not. Like, I don't think his stuff make too much sense. I think we should be able to get this guy. This goes. Move this up. Alright, cool. Alright, that looks pretty fine. He still didn't get his other two pods out. He just moving guys. Oh man, I probably shouldn't have moved right there. Oh well, it's gonna take some effort. 
Hopefully it. Oh man, that's a lot. Yeah, hopefully the other thing don't defeat it. That wouldn't be great. Okay, get another thing. Oh, wait, feral amp. Okay, and the the lobster thing. Okay, we gotta protect Guardian of the Fortress. Can't have a lose yet. So let's get this side ready to finish. It might be able to get some samples. Okay. So what we're gonna see is who can attack where. Okay, so she can't attack. So we can at best probably just get one person. So Time Wizard can get this thing. Summon Spall that we can. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have Summon Spall get this thing. And I'm have time to finish it off. So that's good. Okay, time wizard should be able to get this. Thing. Okay, finish it, time wizard. So time wizard out here on the slide trying to get some. Ha! Okay, so time wizard did his thing. Well, the funny part is that he could attack it. Let's see how much this would do. We do a good amount, but I don't want to lose. So I'm going to move you here. Back there. I'm going to move you up. Right, so they're there. Let's see. You still can't move. Yet. The leg of Exodia can't move, but at what cost? Be right there. Cool. Alright, so we moved the leg up a little bit. We're going to get Bandit Keep, though, don't you worry. We took out one of his monsters, so we're doing good so far. All right, cool. So as long as the Winged Dragon Garden of the Fortress didn't get touched back there, he did. So we good. So, ooh, okay, nobody getting attacked right there. Uh-oh, this is best This guy's nothing like you. Uh-oh, this is Zola. <laughs> this is best monster. Oh, Barrel Dragon. Okay. How does it feel to be blasted out of existence? We'll beat Barrel Dragon, man. Looking like that barrel dragon gonna be inside. That barrel dragon. Yeah, we'll get his barrel dragon. Alright, so let's make sure we don't die here. Let's see. Yeah, hmm. Okay, let's see where time is. Nowhere. Okay, so Time Wizard can't do anything right there. Somehow Time Wizard got boxed in. Okay, so I know what to do. I'm gonna have this attack it. Sonic Maze gonna attack it. And then I'll have Winged Dragon Garden and Fortress one defeated. He'll be able to defeat it and he'll get his level up. Finally, right? Green Dragon has made it to level two. Perfect. Cool. Hopefully that monster can get a little bit more health now that he's made it to level two. Perfect. And, uh, time Wizard needs to go somewhere. Oh, now Time Wizard can move all the way over here. Oh, wow. We'll see. Uh, let's see. I guess he's gonna go. No, he can't move right there. If he moves there, then he can't go. Okay, I'm gonna leave some of Skull right there, because I don't know where he's gonna move right now. Uh, let's look at moving these guys, because I need to get these guys right here. Okay, you still can't get them. Can't get nobody for some reason. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna move you up. Right there. We're move you up right here. We're gonna 
move you up. Oh, we can't move you up. Okay, we're gonna move the moon. That way the moon can start getting closer. Okay. That'll work. They get rid of the happy lover thing, that's fine. I don't care. Acceptable loss. Okay, they're attacking the leg. That's fine. The leg's not gonna take too much. Okay, that leg is a tank. I could care less. Man. Care less. <laughs> Did it get beat? Almost. Cool. I never really liked that monster too much. Oh, you couldn't even attack. Okay, see that Feral Imp is very limited. Like, I don't even know why the Feral Imp is so limited, but it just is. Victory, Okay, so now I can start launching some assaults. No, not yet. Okay, I can't. <laughs> Alright, can I? Can't do that either. Okay. Well. All right. So can I? Wow. I can't do nothing. Okay. Well. That's not good either. Okay. Maybe his formation is better than I thought. Okay. I think Time Wizard can start attacking some people. Yeah. Like Time Wizard, like he can get some people. Uh oh. He can get got right here too. I can put timers in here. Or I can put it here. He can start getting this guy. Hmm. You know, that still won't be nearly enough damage. Like, he'll just get up there by himself and get eaten. So let's see. What I'm going to do here, then, I'm going gonna... to have to try to move this here, I guess. Ah, I don't know. Let's see. Might have been a mistake. Yeah, I'm probably gonna go ahead and have this time as we're talking. That's all I can see. That make any type of sense. Let's attack. Put some damage on the board. Alright, cool. So time was it got his attack, which is good. Definitely don't want you to lose. But I do know you need to be somewhere close to where these enemies are. Otherwise, we're never going to do anything. Okay, you attack. No, no, don't move. Just attack. Actually, I probably do want to do Move right, right here. And attack. Oh, no, no. Don't move right like there. Move right here. Yep, that's it. All right, so if they beat the the happy lover thing, it, it's, it is what it is. Oh, I didn't know he was getting attacked like that. Oh, okay. Well, the leg is about to get sacrificed out here. His leg is looking doomed. That's a doomed looking leg right there. Yep, that's a dead leg right there. That leg is gone. The leg has been defeated. They've defeated the leg. And that thing has been defeated too. Wow, this ain't looking good now. It's looking horrible now. <laughs> we was doing whatever we was doing, but we getting defeated out here. Uh-oh. Man, the time we was about to get hit too? Wow. Yeah, Bandit Keith know what he doing out here. Uh-oh. Okay, this is not looking good. It's Mike. This is not looking good at all. So let's see. Uh, the moon can move up now, but it's not useful right now. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this guy, because that's all we can do. So beat this sucker. Destroy it, King Rex. Alright, so that's gone. get nobody 
leave him right there. He might be able to take somebody out. Hmm. Whatever, time is. Get some more damage on the board. <laughs> right, let's just get more damage from the board before, before we go down here. That Feral Imp has been worked on. You right here. Okay, get the moon up in there. To back him up. And okay, so you cannot move and you cannot move. I can only move the symbol now. Okay. So here's the symbol. Move that symbol. Okay. Alright. Let's see what we can do. Pretty smart. Okay, good thing he got a lot of health, though. Okay. okay Summon Skull looks like he's being taken down before. You know. Okay. And I'm guessing that Barrel Dragon is going to finish the job or something. I don't know. Yeah, that Barrel Dragon finishing the job right there. That barrel dragon got a lot of power on it too. But it's not good. <laughs> we lose and then the barrel dragon is out here getting stronger. Man. Okay, so summon skull, go ahead and take out somebody. Okay, just cause of that. Cause, man, get rid of somebody. Actually, maybe Lamoon, can you get over there? Okay. okay. I'll figure out what to do with you. We get right here. Okay, we got summon skull still. Let's see here. Okay, summon skull about that. Uh, let's see. Before he goes, though, let's get rid of this guy. Lisa Afoy. Let's get him out here. Before he does go, let's get rid of him. Gonna have the call like that. Hopefully, this we can rebound and do something. I don't know. Like we definitely probably gonna lose now. Whatever. <laughs> like, I don't care. Like I'd rather sacrifice him and keep some of the like, They both died, and that's not good. Okay, well, she lied. Okay, she lied. Cool. He not that powerful. Though. Okay, we can get this guy. What you got? Coming out the two headed King Rex again. Okay. We're coming to get you now. I think that was a misplay. Now that you did all that, we're coming to get you now. We got that Summon Skull still out there, too. Come on. It's time to get you now. Let's see. Okay, you just completely suck. I'll never use this card again. Like, there's always a card I got in there that just is worthless. It's unfortunate every time. Oh, I can beat it. Oh, okay. Get it. Dude. Yeah. Didn't know I could do that. All right, cool. I'm happy about that. All right, so you. Yeah. Get him started. How much you got? Okay. I can work it on this. You. Actually, I can. Box this sucker in. Yeah. 
we'll deal with that little lightning thing later. Let's get you going. Wait, he can't even move. Alright. You try to get over here if you can. Alright, cool. We're coming to get him now. Oh, well, that's not good. Oh, well. We well, didn't sacrifice the two-headed King Rex real good, I see. Level up. Oh, man. That's not good. Yeah, we might have misplayed. So let's see if we can at least beat it with the moon. Let's see. Okay, good. We can at least beat it. That's good. Uh, what I want to see, though, is if maybe I can do this. No, he can't do it. Okay. Well, it's good to know. Okay. Well, we can still move him later on. Okay. So we still in this. We just sacrificed King Rex. So, so he's gone. But this, this barrel dragon's gone. Get it out of here. And it leveled up. So hopefully we get the leveled up version of it. That'd be nice. So we're going to get a good barrel dragon now. He leveled up for us. Move her. Get summon skull like closer, I guess. Since you know, this is here. Okay, and that's about all I can really move. Let me move this my symbol closer, I guess. Alright, let's do it. We just got a few pieces now. We got the moon, summon skull, and uh, that thing right there. Okay, well, that looks like a surrender right there. That's good. Anyway, move in closer, summon skull. You. Right there. Let's start attacking this guy. Whatever. It's gonna be less damage, but two hits shit. Oh no, three hits is gonna get this thing. So this thing is still giving me some trouble. I see. All right, bring our symbol closer. Okay, well we'll see, but I think we got it though. We might lose a summon skull or something stupid, but we should be able to get this. Okay, well apparently we're not gonna lose a summon skull. That was dumb. What kind of nonsense was that? Alright, let's start attacking this thing. Like, this thing can start doing some damage on it. Nice. Oh, it can beat it. Okay. I don't even want you to get the level up to me. I'm that bogus right now. So I'm gonna have you. Yeah, you're gonna attack this. Attack it. Let's see if you get any experience. Wow, that's a lot of health. Four experience. <laughs> okay, just beat it, son. Let's go. I want some scar tomorrow. Why not? That thing is fine, but whatever. That thing was useless. It, it just moved around You're the battlefield and did away with this. Just like that happy lover thing. That thing didn't do anything either. It's gone. They, they was hesitant on that music like I lost. What's going on? That music went to a crawl no like I didn't do way. it. I've beaten tougher opponents than you. How could I lose? We got him. This duel was over before it began. When you decided to fight without honor. Fighting with honor is hard. What do you know? Drill this into your head. Next time, I will get my revenge. Just you wait. Man, it's I'm hard to here. get these guys. But we got them. Goodbye and good riddance, Bandit Keith. Goodbye and good riddance. We got them. That Bandit Keith is gone. So we're going to check the shop now. Now that we beat all the tier duelists, duelists is here. We got that new tier. We're going to look and see who those people are too. I'm, I'm curious. I want to know. I want to see. And I want to know.
enemies putting me to too much trauma, man. Like, what is this? Okay, good. The moon level up. Deserved it. Definitely. Level four. All right, so let's get the barrel dragon for sure. Let's see here. Uh, this thing seems useless to me. But, uh, there's a feral imp. I mean, what else am I going to get, though? Because, like, here's another feral imp, but I don't care about this feral imp. Like, like, who cares about his feral imp, man? I guess I don't have this, so I guess I'll get this. I barely care about my feral imp. Why? I want another one. <laughs> Alright, anyway, we did it. We did it. Oh, man, we did it. We did it. We did it. So now we unlock the final tier. And uh, what else we got in that final tier? We got the final tier. And we, uh, we uh, what we got? <laughs> so we got the final tier of duelists. They should be rising up now. So let's let's see who those are. Let's see who, what duelists we got up in there. I'm curious, actually. Who, who left? <laughs> like, who else in this anime that we didn't beat? Like, it, it got to be evil Mary and such, right? Shoddy? We fighting Shoddy? That area look clear to me. Oh yeah, Kaiba. We ain't ran into Kaiba yet. So let's let's see real quick. Let's go into the area. Let's see. I'm curious. Okay, yeah, they go shoddy. I guess I was joking, but I guess he really is in here. Okay, Yami Bakura, that makes sense. Okay. He like he gonna be hard. Look at this jacket. Okay, Yami Mary, that makes sense. Okay, she's in. I guess she's difficult. I don't know. Kaiba, okay, yeah. This this like this is the true final challenge right here. City of Redemption they call it. Limitless Sanctuary. Wicked Ceremony Site. Okay. Yeah, these are the, these are the final guys. Like, look at this. They can look like the final guys out here. Like, they start looking like the final guys, man. Okay, anyway. Let's go to the uh, entrance hall. Let's get to that entrance hall. Let's go to the shop. You've gotten very far. It makes me proud to be your grandpa. <laughs> what? Here are some more new monsters to help you out. Thank you. Give me some more new monsters. What would you like to do? Okay, let's see what we got this time. Okay, that's the same old happy love, but you keep trying to give us this. Okay, we'll go Guinea. Man, look the same thing. Oh man, some sucky monsters. Oh, this look new. The Skull Guardian. Man. Get that Skull Guardian. Okay, now you got a Karibo in the shop. Oh, they got the other piece of Exodia up in there. They don't have that. Oh, Dark Magician finally here. Finally. Man. Give us that Dark Magician. We've been waiting on that. Couldn't get Dark Magician to save our lives for some reason. The Moti Behemoth. What the? Garoopsies is here. Get Garoopsies, man. He an anime. Let's get Garoopsies. All right, who else we got in the water? What we got in the water? Bunch of nonsense. Look at this guy. All right, let's see. Um... I see the gazelle, king of mythical beasts up there. Man, they got good monsters this time. Masaki, the legendary warrior. He sucked. But whatever there he is, though. There he is. Uh, I see. What what type is he? He earth? We might get him. Right? I might throw him in there. Alright, anyway. Let's see. They go jewel bird. Uh, wicked dragon with earths ahead. A weird title. Typhoon, Dancing Elf. Why is Dancing Elf this far up? This make no sense. Whatever. Get Dancing Elf. We got Winged Dragon. Uh, who else we got up in here? Hercules Beetle. I always like his design. We might get him. This could be looks cool. Okay, Hercules Beetle up in there. Uh, let's see. What the heck is this? Yeah, yeah Mortal Thunder. Uh, machine Attacker, man. Oh wow, that's it. Okay, let's get that machine attacker to you. And the Immortal Thunder go crazy, man. The Immortal Thunder. Right, let's get that machine guy. And the boat penguin, man. Boat penguin. Moving diagonal and attacking the box. That's odd, but whatever. Yeah, the Thunder Monsters are weird, man. They just weird. 
like this guy moves like this and then he attacks like that. Oh, so he does worse than this. From what I'm seeing. He probably got more health, but other than that, he worse than this. And this guy just moved normal. So, okay. Um, yeah, I think we made our selection. Uh, health to be don't move again. Okay, he moves slow like a tank. And then, oh, this thing moves all over the map, actually. This thing seems pretty good. And look how he moves. He moves, but attack a one space apart, so he's probably actually good. It's funny as that sounds. Like, how does Dancing Elf move? Okay, she, yeah, this movement on this car is good. What about Typhoon? Typhoon pretty decent, too. He just look weird, but he decent. Oh, wait, I forgot about you, Twin-Headed Behemoth. Yeah, let's get Twin-Headed Behemoth. He look cool. Um... Now, how you move Gazelle? Okay, Gazelle moved like that and attack weird. Ah, oh, man, why Gazelle attacking like this? Okay, he, he moves standard and attack standard, so that's that's fine. Uh, let's see here. Where's that Dark Magician? I didn't look at Dark Magician's movement. Wait, who is this? Garuzi's? Garuzi? Okay, Garuzi normal, thank goodness. Who's Martin Behemoth? Okay, Martin Behemoth kind of weird, but whatever. Okay, Dark Magician. Did they butcher him? Oh, they did not butcher him. He's actually pretty good. Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm impressed on how they did Dark Magician. That's good. That's great. Oh, wait, my camera went out. All right, cool. All right, so yeah, we're gonna battle what we're gonna battle. It a day. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, like what the video you if you like, like it. Do? Consider subscribing if you want to see more of this. And that's about it. I'll see you guys in the next episode. We're gonna, it'll either be one or two more episodes. But we're going to try to finish it. And we're getting there. We're getting to the final bosses. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoy it. And see you guys. Take care.